Hello friends, welcome to Shiva Academy. In this video, we are going to see a specific use case that I have received from one of the subscriber. In fact, this video is based on the SQL loader. So if you are completely new to SQL loader, I would suggest you to watch this video to get a basic information about what is SQL loader and how to use SQL loader to load information from a flat file into a database and what are all the files associated with the SQL loader. Fine. Now let me explain what is the question I have received. So we have a data file which contains employee information like employee name, job, salary and department number. So the expectation is using SQL loader we need to load these information into the database table but with one restriction that is we need to exclude few records based on the length of a specific field. So in this case we need to exclude the record whose employee name length is more than 5 character. For example, in this case, the Ravi Kiran and Priya Ranjan, whose length of a name is more than 5 character, so we should not insert into the table. Whereas the rest of the records like Scott, James and Smith, only these records are allowed to insert into the table. So this is the expectation. Okay. So whatever the options I have analyzed as part of this question, I'm just posting in this video. Okay. So here is a sample control file, which will load all the information from the data file into the table without any restriction. First, let me load all the information into the table without any restriction. Then I will show you each and every option and how to restrict based on the length of the employee name. Okay, first let me create the table. So the employee detail table is created. So let me just query from the table. Right now though, no records are there. Okay, so here is the data file and here is the control file. Okay, so these two files I've just loaded into the temporary directory. Now I'm executing the SQL loader to load the information from data file into the table. Now I'm just executing the SQL loader. Now you can see five rows are successfully loaded. So all the information from the flat file are now successfully loaded into the table. Now the expectation is we need to exclude these two records that is Ravi Kiran and Priya Ranjan because the length of these two names are more than five characters. Okay. Now let me show you what are the options available or what are the options that I have analyzed. Okay. Let us start with the first option. So the first option what I'm going to do is while creating the employee detail table, I'm creating the data type of employee name as varchar2 of 5. So what will happen is any string that you are trying to insert into this table, if the length is more than 5 character, automatically that record will not get inserted. So in this case, the Ravi Kiran and Priya Ranjan will not get inserted, whereas the Scott, James and Smith will get inserted. Fine. So now let me show you the demo for this first method. Okay, anyway, we have already created the table. So let me just drop this table and I'm recreating the table with employee names data type as varchar2 of 5. Now the table is created. So right now there is no records in this table. Let me re-execute the SQL loader command. Now the command is successfully executed. You can see here three rows successfully loaded. So let me just query from the table. Now you can see three records are successfully loaded. Any records that are failed during the execution, you will be able to find in the bat file. So let me just quickly show you here. So let me show you the bat file. So you can see here in the bat file, the records that are excluded are available. Now let us see the next method. Okay, so let's proceed with the next method. Suppose if you are not allowed to create the table with data type as varchar2 of 5, there, there could be many reasons. For example, suppose if the table is already having few record and the expectation is we need to restrict only for the new records that is getting inserted into this table. So obviously we will not be able to go and drop the table and recreate with the data type as varchar2 of 5. So in this case, what we can do is we can go and create a check constraint which will validate the length of the employee name. So any records that you're going to insert into this table, obviously in case if the length is more than five, this check constraint will get violated and it will throw the error. But one key thing is when you're creating the check constraint like this, it will go and validate the constraint on the existing data also. 
to avoid that what you can do you can just include the keyword called differable no validate so that this will not validate the constraint on the existing data to get more information about this differable no validate keyword you can look into this video because here i have explained a specific scenario where we will be using this differable no validate keyword fine now let me show you the demo for this method two okay now i am just dropping the table let me recreate the table i'm just inserting one employee called prashant into this table the record is inserted so let me just commit so i'm just querying from the table yeah there is one record of employee name prashant now what i'm going to do i'm just going to create the check constraint on this table constraint is created fine so now what i'm going to do instead of truncate let me put append otherwise what will happen the prashant also will get truncated while we are executing the sql loader command okay now i am just executing the sql loader command now you can see now the sql loader command is getting executed it is showing three rows successfully loaded let us just query from the table now you can see along with prashant we have just three more records got inserted that is scott james and smith those two record that is ravi kiran and priya ranjan are got excluded so anyway those two informations you can check from the bad file also okay so this is the second method of implementation okay so in the first method we actually modified the data type of the table to restrict the length to five character in the second method we are creating a check constraint okay but for some reason we will not be allowed to modify the length of the existing column also if you are not allowed to create the check constraint what to do so that's why we have the third method so in third method we are not going to touch the table at all instead we are just going to implement the entire logic in the control file itself so in the third method the table will have uh, data type as varchar of 100 and in fact the table can have existing records also so here what we are going to do we are going to implement purely in the control file itself that is as part of the sql loader itself so what i am doing here i am just including a condition here see the reason i am not using a when class is because there is a when class the intention of when class in the sql loader is basically to restrict the record but the problem of when class is we will not be able to use the function as part of the when class you have to give a direct condition only so but one advantage is as part of the column we can specify the functions so that is why i'm just implement this logic in the column wise so what i'm doing here whenever the length of the employee name is less than or equal to 5 then i'm considering the name as it is otherwise i am just preparing a string a quite a greater string so in this case i am preparing a string of 1000 character that means whenever the length of the name is less than 5 character that means scott james and smith what will happen the name will get inserted as it is but whenever the length is more than 5 character what will happen this case condition will try to insert a string of 1000 character into this table so the length of the employee name is 100 only so obviously when you are trying to insert a value which is of 1000 character obviously the insert will fail so by that way we can restrict these two records fine so now let me show you the demo for this okay first let me drop the table i'm just creating the table so right now there is no records here fine so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to put a condition here case when length of employee name less than or equal to 5 then let us use the employee name as it is else let us create a string quite a greater string i'm just creating a string of thousand character okay end fine so i'm just storing it fine now let us execute the sql loader now i'm just executing the sql loader now you can see only three records are loaded so let me just execute this query you can see only the three records are loaded so this method is pure implementation in the sql loader control file itself we are not touching the table and we are not creating the constraints okay okay so this is about the third method let me show you one more method quite a simple and here we are just going to combine two options one is like 
the control file so what i am doing quite very similar to the previous method here if the length is greater than 5 i am just taking a name like invalid name that means i am trying to insert a name called invalid name into the table and in the table i am creating a trigger that is a row level trigger and within the row level trigger i am checking whenever you are trying to insert a name as an invalid name and i am raising an exception from the trigger so one advantage of this method is if you want to redirect or if you want to insert the errored out record into some other table probably you can put on insert statement here so a valid records will get inserted into a right table and invalid records you you can handle in some other table or probably you can put it into some log table so that is the one advantage of this method let me just quickly show you the demo for this okay the fourth method so i'm just dropping the table so the table is dropped okay so here what i'm doing whenever the length is greater than five i'm just putting a name called invalid name in fact you can use anything here i am just using a string called invalid name because the same string i want to use in the trigger also okay so now i am creating the tab table the table is created i am just creating a row level before insert trigger on this table trigger is created so now let me just query from the table right now though there is no records in the table so let us now re-execute the sql loader command so now now i am executing the sql loader command now you can see three rows are successfully loaded let us query from the table yes scott james and smith are loaded let us check the bad bad file you will see that ravi kiran and priya ranjan are excluded during the insert operation okay so these are the four methods in fact the first two methods we are implementing by changing something on the table the third method is a pure sql loader implementation and the fourth method is like sql loader plus the table implementation so based on your need and based on your functionality probably you can pick and choose the right option for your implementation if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question sql practical question and concept videos and thanks a lot for watching this video please click the bell icon if you want to receive instant notification whenever new videos are uploaded into this channel thank you